What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another late night, another installment into the Epic franchise. Today, we're going to be dipping our toe back into musical Saturday Night Fever with John Travolta, a staple John Travolta film. And hard to believe I've never seen it. That is actually true. I have never seen it. Um, but I know um, Staying Alive from Bee Gees. I uh, heard it a lot as a kid. Um, Dad played it a lot. But other than that, know absolutely nothing about the film. But very excited to get into it. And without any further delay, um, this, this green screen in the back, we're going to be playing some behind the scenes footage during the thoughts section at the very end. So hopefully that will, you know, present as good eye candy while I'm talking. But other than that, we'll get straight into the film because Captain, we are Ego. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the 70s. <laughs> well, just in the opening, you know, the aerial shot and then the trains, I get a very harsh feeling. Like we're entering into like harsh times, harsh neighborhoods. Why does he look like the only one who's listening to the music? He has such a ambience to him. Wait. He's double stacking the pizzas. I've never seen that before. <laughs> this guy is the king of his own world. <laughs> I love that he's he doesn't care what anybody thinks. He's dressed for the occasion. Hold the phone. Hey, wait for your receipt. Please don't don't trust me. <laughs> Just get five dollars like that. <laughs> He's just getting rejected left, right, and center, holding a paint can. A dollar off for you. Ten ninety-eight on this special gold paint. How do you like that? Thank you. I'll take a gallon of this. All right, you like it. Oh, he's a sweet talker. He actually got the deal. Well, tonight is the future, and I am planning for it. There's a shirt I got him by, beautiful shirt. Sorry, Tony, no exceptions. All right, so that just sets out the theme right off. It has to do with his future, how he deals with it, like how, how the music scene is going to eventually, you know, play in into his future because it seems like there is none here. Oh, that is beautiful. You like it? Yeah. And put it in your room? Yeah, I'll put my room right in that house there. Okay. All right? Aw. Oh. Okay, so... Clearly, there's an interesting dynamic between him and his parents, except he has a he has a sister, younger sister. How would that work out if he eventually gets out? <laughs> I'm getting American Psycho vibes. Probably American Psycho was inspired by some of these sequences. Let's go! I don't suppose the Rocky poster also was there just by accident. Boy, you hey. Where are you going? Hey, the shirt, watch the shirt, stupid. <laughs> the slaps just go around the table. I work on my hair a long time and you, and you hit it. He hits my hair. <laughs> the hair being the joy and pride, yeah, the, even the domestic life. He needs to get out. Don't you walk to the church later? Didn't you go already today? Yeah, confession. I gotta go back and pray for something. For what? I gotta pray for Father Frank Jr. to call me. Oh, they, they just had to include the son in that shot. <laughs> the Tony, his brother, and the mom. As soon as he leaves the home, <laughs> he leaves with the hair first, and he's the man of the gang. Like, the bravado that he has in his confidence. They are sweet things, so get in line to get the prize. <laughs> he just goes to the center stage and tears it up. I suppose they're still high school students. Oh, this probably did wonders for Travolta's career. Like, he looks so 
good in his dancing form. I love to watch you dance. I, I, I just, just love it, w watching you dance. It's only listen, uh, do a Boy, they're treating him like royalty. funny his own his own admiration for her comes first from her being able to dance oh i just kissed al pacino <laughs> <laughs> they liken him to al pacino interesting all right would you look at that they already have a flash dance going on Boy, what time did he get to bed? <laughs> he looks, he looks like he did. It was dancing all night. Al Pacino, I look like Al Pacino. Not cool. <laughs> That's funny. Al Pacino's looking directly at him through the reflection of the mirror. That's a good one. Ah, uh, you're never gonna get yourself one of these. These things cost too much money. You never have that kind of money. Hey, you, you know I had you up to here. That's your favorite speech. You're never gonna have that kind of money. Not you, not me, oh. not any. 20, 30 bucks. And then now they're talking about a car. <laughs> they're talking about like the ideal life when, well, to go back to the, you know, conversation, are they necessarily saving for the future? What? A raise. You kidding me? Well, come on, look, see how much it is. You gave me a raise, thank you. I can't believe this. Wait, wait. <laughs> how much, how much? Never seen anybody so Happy over a crummy 250 raise. Wait a minute, two, you just said four dollars, didn't you? <laughs> well, he seems to be doing really well in the store, so I guess he's probably afraid of letting him go. You know how many times somebody told me I was good in my life? Two, two, twice, two times. This raise today and dance and dance at the disco. You sure as never did. Wow. Four dollars. The money comes and goes. He gets a raise. Father is not employed currently, you know, and during the, I'm assuming, inflation, how much things are going up, um, the fact that, the, you know, they all within the, the his group of gang huddled into one car, you know, acknowledge that it's a rat race. But at the same time, they have to, they have to buy, spend money to make it out. I obviously didn't grow up in the 70s, so this is shocking to me how serious they're taking it. You know, they're, they're going into the studio, they're putting in the time, they have the discipline. Well, I mean, you was looking at me and I was looking at you, remember? But what is this? I look at a guy longer than a millionth of a second, already he gets delusions of grandeur. I wonder whether that 2001 Odyssey, I'm assuming it was obviously named after 2001 A Space Odyssey. <laughs> We don't up so late. What is this? I walk in, you don't got no criticism of me. No, hopefully nothing happened to the sister. I think they're in shock, though. In shock? How come in shock? I'm uh, leaving the church, Tony. Okay, it explains why they're so distraught. They're ashamed, right? You ashamed of me, Tony? Didn't ask why or nothing? Nah. I think they're afraid to. Hmm. With the cross in the back, that's a good, ba that's a good, you know, sort of. I actually am very unfamiliar with the culture in terms of why it would be such a thing if the son would step down from priesthood. I know from the Catholic nature and specifically with uh, Scorsese, you know, he wanted to either be a priest or a director. He wanted to be a priest first, but I'm not so sure why it's such a huge thing if they step down or the, the culture within the family of having your own children as, a, you know, that type of an occupation. Like, I always felt like I was the shit of the family. And you was always, like, perfect. Now that I'm the disgrace of the family, I'm not so perfect anymore. <laughs> now that the picture is taken down, they switch positions. Except, well, maybe not switch. Maybe they're in the same position, but... That's sort of an interesting theme in itself, you know, the um, projection of the parents and what they could have been onto their own children. Hey, come on! Hey, come on! Hey, don't eat the apple! Give me, give me back! Give me the Jesus, what's the matter with you anyway? What are you doing? Even a, even a bitten apple, he wants to take it back. 
should tell you the price of groceries there. We both got the same last initials. How do you like that? Now we get married, I don't have to change the monogram. My luggage, huh? <laughs> It's funny, the, the, the dance moves of the time seem very rudimentary for what, you know, we have in modern times, like, but I'm I'm assuming at the time there were revolutionary moves. What more the pointing hands up and down. Offices are beautiful. Secretaries, you know, they all shop at uh, Bond with Taylor. Oh, yeah. And like the... It does sound like the Big Apple, the, the ideal place over the river. Manhattan. That, that, that Romeo and Juliet. I never understood why Romeo, he took the, the poison so quick, you know. I, I feel like he could have waited or something. Well, that's the way they took the poison in those days. Interesting how we were still on the outside listening into the conversation. <laughs> and Cat Stevens at Le Madrigal. Oh, far out. Yeah. You heard of those restaurants, huh? No, I... I, didn't, I don't know. <laughs> His mind is not in it. He's thinking about something completely different. I'm changing. I'm really changing as a person, and I'm growing. You know what I mean? Nobody has any idea how much I'm growing. Once you go on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even taking it seriously. But again, that's to go back on the theme of moving out of the, you know, the Brooklyn Bronx and, you know, to a better future, you know, sort of, adapting even in terms of a micro scale in terms of what she drinks i mean all he was doing was walk along the street carrying his groceries and treat him to a shelf number on spill his groceries into the street wow just just because of the groceries that much injury hey you know uh we should go to hospital tomorrow you know what i'm talking and you cool off you know all right good night they don't look like they're going to cool off at all. <laughs> if anything, they're probably going to... He, he was ready with the iron tire. I said nothing to him. Priest staying out all night. A priest is not a priest no more, and he's grown up, so he can do what he wants. Something you said to him. Oh, yeah, you trying to blame me that he ain't a priest no more? Interesting he said, you know, that he grew up, like, grew up out of the priesthood. <laughs> and now they're, they're, they're trying to hang it on him. I don't mean that. I'm sorry. I never say that. I love you, Mom. I really do. Well, at the same time, parents want the best for their children. Except, I'm not so sure if the parents themselves are evolving with, you know, the current economic status, the current job market, like the aspirations of the young. But, again, hard to say because I did not really grow up at the time. So I'll count on you guys to sort of correct me. Why do you hate me so much? All I ever did to you was like you. Give me a break, huh? That is kind of a, it's kind of true. He's <laughs> not just liked him for what he was instead of ever having aspirations to get to somewhere through him. <laughs> Looks like they're skating. It's their utopia right now. It's funny, the, the, the lights are getting exceedingly more streaky. <laughs> Such simple dance moves and yet it, it brings so much joy. You got a way of putting things together, you know, seeing things a certain way. Interesting, yeah, yeah. Intelligence? <laughs> where does that where does that leave him for the future once dance just goes away, as he had mentioned? I'm surviving every lonely day when it's got to it almost seems unright for him to have brought his brother. It's like his brother's being you know pushed in into like unknown territory. See, it even has a reserve sign. Please don't call me that. I never could stand that. But yeah, I think the place is, uh, you know, energizing. Hey, great. It's all right. <laughs> it just say, it comes so naturally to him. People call him father. The analogies of the Red Sea and him being Moses. <laughs> hey, M Mr. Monero, can I talk to you hey, for a second? what's he doing? Frank. Frank, yeah, Frank, yeah. Listen. It almost seems wrong to even like sort of blaspheme against the 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 holy communion and have a joke upon it <laughs> he 
quite literally just parted the crowd with these dance moves. I'm not so sure why for the other people why it's so interesting, but I don't know. He, well, we'll see after the parting whether he'll go through the promised land. Wow. Very good shot. Very impressive for Travolta to be doing that. Hmm. I wonder I wonder how many shots this took him. Like this is obviously a lot of dedication and practice from the actor. He's very good, yeah. He's the king out there, Bottom. He's the best. Hey man, he's great. He's great. <laughs> they just caught themselves saying king. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Yeah. Come here for a sec. Listen, Frank. Um, Wanna hear something? I, I I I got a lot of ideas. We'll see, like I the was difference, you know, when they go to a confession, they have the complete attention of father. Now it's even harder. You gonna go home? Yeah. Oh, no, no, stay a little longer, Frank. The, 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 it's nice just beginning right yeah, here. Yeah, I know, but it's not my scene, you know. No. It is not. It is not. When he was just counseling the the dude, <laughs> the friend, and it seems like he fit back into the glove. This is not not for him. Okay. I gotta go now. Okay. All right. Well, have a good night. I'll see yeah. you later. Right. Hey, you should come in or what? Hmm. You just... It's almost like the brother was sort of urging him, you know, go this path. Don't go down my path. <laughs> Oh boy, hopefully nothing, <laughs> nothing bad happens to them. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I knew <laughs> They got her. Everyone's too shocked and disgraced. Family raises a priest, they think they've scored points in heaven. Now they're gonna lose them. Whoa, <laughs> is that so? <laughs> you have a priest in your family, you think you scored points in heaven. Salvation is secured. I left you something in your room. What'd you leave me? Souvenir. Money. Oh, please don't tell me it's the priest uniform. That nah, does not fit. <laughs> I mean, as much as it is, it does not fit him that well. <laughs> Even joking about hanging himself with it. As if the job, you know, he already, if he does commit to it, it throws away his com his career or his future. And he, in, in, in a metaphorical terms, kills Tony. Tell them about the people coming to the office. That's what they want to hear. Tell them that. Oh, oh, you know who came in today? This guy David. <laughs> I actually like that we get an inside look at how White Castle made their burgers. I had no idea White Castle was an actual restaurant. Look, I gotta have the afternoon off. I'm taking it. You do, you're fired. I'm doing it. Then you're fired. Oh, great. Should not have escalated it that much. But I guess sort of getting the urgency to grow up is there now. To, to, to get to this competition, to get out. Call me tonight? Yeah, I'll call you. I'll call you. Don't worry about nothing, all right? All right I'll take care. I'll, I'll talk to you later then. Yeah. Talk call about tonight, futures. Right? The kid has, has a marriage and a child to take care of, and his decision is huge. What more? Now everybody is sort of having to make adult decisions. Got him fired. He can handle it. But now he's he's driving all the way to Manhattan only to have to come back to Brooklyn. Uh, can I get you a, a beer, a glass of wine? No, man, like it's all right. Um, oh, he just hey, walked into a, a relation, a existing relationship, and now it's a triangle. Don't cry about it. I mean, you know. All right, so we helped you. That's good for you. <laughs> huh. Even, even incompetency, like sort of help came with uh, a caveat, which is, I mean, it's unfortunate. Yeah, I guess they were pouring the cement and he slipped off, you know, on the upper part of the bridge and, uh, you know, fell in. Unfortunate, <laughs> but it shows he, you know, he's a smart, smart guy. So, you know, he, uh, yeah, at least he, know, he can show his sort of intelligence in terms of like, factual information he memorizes given at the specific time to um, help with this 
situation. You got a future here, Tom. Here, Harold's with me 18 years since I opened. Uh, Mike, 15 years, huh? Come on, give Harold a Ooh, hand. 15, 18 years. I mean, he doesn't want to be coming to them. Like, this is comfortable for now. It's available for now. But let it not be to the point where he gets handicapped. <laughs> Whoa, that escalated quickly. I was looking for you. Where were you? <coughs> well, he is the driver and he's going to get married, so he has to keep a clean face. You got some pair of balls on you. You know that? Hey, that's, hey, come you know on. That? Hey, you know, I had to say something, right? I mean, I had to lay somebody on for it, right? What are you stupid? Well, yeah, I mean, you can't I... see. Okay, so they might have got the wrong crowd. And they're even holding it against him, the fact that he didn't help them and was just driving. And what happened to your face, huh? <laughs> oh, I, I cut myself shaving. With a switchblade, huh? Come on. <laughs> what a bad lie. Who even shaves that high? And it's the contest night. <laughs> hey, this. Those are some pretty impressive moves. Now we have Stephanie Mangano and Tony Manero. Yeah. Right. Come on. Here they come. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. What are they going to pull off now? <laughs> They're not really doing any complicated moves compared to the previous contestants. <laughs> it looks like he already won the contest. He, he got her affection. I don't think they're gonna take the prize at all. <laughs> Everybody's beating them. <laughs> Even they're getting embarrassed. <laughs> all the sophisticated moves. We have decision of judges in third place. We have Elizabeth and Joseph Kaiser. Oh, I'm ready to hear they didn't get first place. And then it sort of burst his bubble at the very end as to, okay, maybe I should give up dancing. The coolest, the greatest day I broke the boogie woogie man, the man that gave you coolness, hotness, and everything you wanted. He was hot. He was right on. Uh, Stephanie McGowan and Tony <laughs> Wait, what? They well, he he knows they didn't win. This is a, sort of a bias. Yeah, they're just egging him on. Are they even telling him the truth? That 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 eats up, you know, at him even more. Does he have talent and the realization that maybe he doesn't? Stephanie, that was rigged. It's like family. They can't give it to no, no stranger. What are you, crazy? We was just as good as they were, Tony, and I know it. And oh, they're living in a delusion. Here, I'd like to give you this, I'd like to give you that, because I think you deserve it, all right? Come on. Just, just wait a minute. Good is good. <laughs> they, were, they were actually happy with second place. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is just cause for trouble. Oh no, hopefully she doesn't just fall down or, she, or attempts something silly. You're making me very nervous now, Bobby. Oh. Ah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Get over it. Ah. Out of everyone, Bobby, hopefully he's not the martyr for everybody to sort of wake up. Ah. Oh. Ah. Well, nobody talked to him. No, he couldn't get anybody. He was just a driver. Tom? Hey, Tony! Ah, this is him breaking away from the group. It's funny. Well, from the beginning of the film, there's such an inflated self-worth. Now it's... He's completely been beaten down. Okay, what are you gonna do? What do you do? You come in, you get a job, you know, do what you do. You get a nice apartment. Okay, what kind of job? Do what you do, as if it sounds so easy. Let's be friends, right? We'll just be friends. Well, 
at least they're getting off to a good start. <laughs> they're becoming friends. That's that's trying. And the moment that you wonder far from me. Oh. Okay, well that's how it starts. You know, his his well, retribution's not even the word, his sort of rebirth, if we we shall call it that. Thoughts thoughts um so while i'm giving my thoughts hopefully i would be playing something over there and that should serve as some type of eye candy um this was completely not what i had expected for this film i had expected something a lot more how should we say a lot more fun um because at least from what I've been told is, you know, this film has, you know, those musical numbers, the dancing and all that. I don't think he even hit the pose where it was his main staple pose. I think that's another film, Staying Alive, maybe. But this film is a lot more along the lines of West Side Story. The dancing is just on the surface of it all, underneath the underbelly of, you know, hard Brooklyn is you know uh, a sort of family that's pulling for their children to at least you know be their saving grace uh, if not on earth at least in heaven um yeah in terms of his you know people that he grew up with he sort of has to rewire his brain you know from the very beginning he is sort of seen as this prophet you know let's say should we say moses who completely divides the dance floor so that he can completely um you know do his thing except at the very end he does go across the <laughs> does go across the ocean not in uh, on foot or by his parting but you know in terms of following somebody else's lead and this person just having been introduced to him in 2001 odyssey and you know, him sort of taking the chance and preparing with her the contest almost seems meaningless it's just a catalyst to um their their relationship at the very end um the whole thing with bobby committing you know well could it have been suicide we don't know but it sort of looks that way um his other friends and their behavior are they going to even grow up um it's sort of a a, a pit you know that forces you to work 15 to 18 years in a paint shop and getting salary bumps up to four dollars and you know it's it is a lot like West Side Story. And then this the segregation in terms of culture, you know. Um, I, speaking to the times, I, I'm assuming this film spoke a lot to, you know, the 19-year-olds, the 20-year-olds, the complete transition from 19 being, you know, you just graduated high school. What do you do? Do you go to college? Do you stay behind? Um, sort of his own, you know, aspirations in terms of where is this leading um where is this dance thing leading um you know the sort of delusion that he might have you know been a victim of um whereas you know uh, stephanie is completely on the opposite end where she has already made it she already has her own she's an independent thinker but even under her there's some cracks um that sort of breaking into um, sort of the corporate job or the ideal job even has its, you know, sort of sacrifices, I would guess, that she I would have to have made. Um, but the ending is, uh, I, I did not see this. This was completely not what uh, I had in mind going into the film. It's a lot more of an adult film than I had pictured. Um, but I guess that that's it and uh, looking forward to I, I was thinking I was just, should I should I necessarily release this on a Saturday this is not a Saturday film this is not a film that you necessarily walk away you know pumped up in the air like <clears throat> sort of like whiplash the whole jazz you know thing is sort of just the surface level and then when you go even underneath it talks about the family dynamic talks about um the instructor um and so on and so forth but you know brooklyn being a huge part of this and then crossing the staten island bridge to get to manhattan sort of the ideal place you know 
well, the the whole socioeconomic standpoint. I'm pretty sure they're probably their think pieces, <clears throat> just as they were for West Side Story, as they are for this. So, if I did miss anything, if I got anything wrong, please do correct me. And yeah, I'll love to see you guys in the comments section. Until then, I'll see you in the next film. And until then, enjoy cinema, my friends. Uh, take care and, um, well, put on a record for me and hit the dance floor. What's up, you cinephiles? Thank you very much for making it to the very end. Me and Big Willie don't take that for granted. We really appreciate you. Now, if you'd like to show your support to us, you know what you can do up here. You can smash that button, really just smash it. And you know, if you would like to check out some more content, they're all curated by days up over here and playlists. So you know what? We hope you're having a great day. Don't crumble and just continue to smile and be a good bastion of cinema.